Yeah, it's Mr. John here. In this video I'm gonna show you what's inside this iron that I bought for my friend who doesn't solder all that often but he is sick and tired of uh, cheap irons that plug straight in and heat all the time overheating and almost catching on fire, you know what I'm saying. So this iron is a bit more complex as you can see. has a little circuit board inside and it works, it works great. But the temperature is not really matching up. When I set it to about 200 degrees it is 330. So, but I can fix that, at least it's regulated. So all I need to do is to change some resistors around and it will be fine. That's a model. 60 watts, and it is indeed 60 watt element. I measured its resistance. It is 860 ohms, which at 230 volts AC input will give me 61 watts. Nice. Let's take a look inside. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna change. Here is a closer look at the circuit board. It contains a dual op amp, LM358. Nothing fancy about that, you can see some resistors, diodes, capacitors. That diode near the electrolytics is a Zener LED for indication, preset port, and a little triac. Which you can see right there. So oh, what I'm gonna change is I'm gonna go and lower this resistor. Let me point this one. The preset, the port is actually wired in such a way. From the positive of the chip, through uh, this resistor, to this leg of the resist port potentiometer, wiper goes, snakes off to the input of the comparator, it doesn't matter here. And this leg is connected to this resistor, which is connected to ground pin for the chip. So by lowering this resistor, I'm gonna lower the effective voltage. The minimum voltage and the maximum voltage that this port can reach. And thus lower the preset temperature. Easy, easy peasy. That resistor R2 is 270 ohms. I'm gonna first try 220 ohms, see where it will get me. If not, I'm gonna try 180 and then 150. I think 180 will put me right where I want it to be, but I'm not sure about that. Resistor changed, as you can see right there. LED is glowing, we are heating up to 200 degrees. See where it gets me. Previously it was 330. Still a long way to go. Let's try 150 ohm. Okay, that equals that heating up, waiting, testing, still not enough. God damn it! And that's like third or fourth time I use this button in my entire life, if not counting accidental presses. Okay, handy dome resistor. Let's see where this will get me. I changed it to 250 degrees because at 200 it was 250, at 300 it was 420. So I should calibrate it in the mid-range, preferably. Or better yet, on the working temperature, like 300 degrees, but let's see what happens here. I'm gonna call it good, whatever. 250 degrees here equals 285, the real, but that's better than nothing. And to just top it off, I'm gonna set it to about 300 and see what this will be at. The scene is not linear at all. That's 300 degrees for you. Very nice. I'm gonna tell him that do it by feel. Put it somewhere, you know, on the medium of the knob and it will be fine. Verdict. It's definitely worth buying, it's not too bad, especially if you can find it cheap from 
some dubious seller. It's not too bad, it's definitely better than no regulation at all. At least you can measure some temperature in some way, shape or form. It does provide regulation. It is a genuine 60 watt heating element, which is good. Here's a model number again. If you can find it cheap enough, I'm going to recommend it. If you find it for like, I don't know, like $15, screw it. Put a little bit more money and buy something like a cheap Heiko 936 knockoff. These stations are cheap as dirt now. They are low voltage, they are properly regulated. You can trim it easily. There is a trim pot there, not like here, but still. For, for him, it's going to be more than enough. It's going to be a world of difference because all he was using beforehand was just a simple irons that uh, plug directly into the mains and do, and do nothing but overheat. So that's that. Thanks for watching. See ya. And by the way, if this video is gonna, is, ain't gonna have enough volume, still I'm gonna be very pissed at my phone because I'm speaking at it at such a distance now that I, I can't see what's going on, on the screen, it's blurry. My eyes can focus on that low, small of a distance. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See ya.